Hello. I know um, Halloween time is over, but I found this one a while ago and I wanted to make a video about it, but I just never had the time to get to it. So, let's try it out now. <laughs> It was just like the last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. On the phone. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything's going to be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? Sal, come and find me. Weird. Sounded like my dad. Hmm? Looked like something there, but it's too dark to see. So I can only go front, left and right. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go, light switch. Oh, there's a key. A key! <laughs> what is Q? Q is my inventory. Okay. Are we going out? Um, how do I know which one was mine? Let's open this door. It's just a corridor. B O N. Um, can I go back? I can't go back. Oh, crap, man. Okay. We're gonna try A. Nope, so we have to go into D. But not go into P. <laughs> oh, now there is other doors. Uh... Not P, obviously. O. And we tried E, so let's try F. Nope. D. O. G. Aha! Uh -huh. Hello? What's happening? Nothing. Can't see anything. Hello? Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. What the hell? Huh? <laughs> Go see for yourself. Okay. Diane Fisher. Okay, climb down. Of course, that because that's what normal people do. Battery is not included. So, it's locked. Passcode. Um...
I'm not sure. Oh. Did I break it? Dad? You are not my son. My son is not a murderer. What? This is your fault. Who is this? Mom? Are you? And that's when I woke up. <laughs> okay. Mm, yes, it's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? <laughs> Pick your choose. The second one, the one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about the place right away. Strange neighbors. This will be our new building. Beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Um... Fine. Just want to see what else is there. Bathroom. Bags. Kitchen. Okay. Let's go explore outside. Leave. Okay, 402. Hello? Why are you standing here? I'm protecting noi what? A noisy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Now scram, I don't get paid to babysit. What happened in that room? Police business kid, why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that, wise ass? Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid, grumble, grumble. Okay. Let's go the other way. Knock. No one's home. Okay. You didn't wait long. Let's go. I am on the fourth floor. Insert key card. Um, let's go to the fifth floor. This floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the nearest exit. Nah. Locked. Locked. Hello? Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Uh, hello, sir? Are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry, I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors and uh, a dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? What the? Where did he go? His hands. 
that's weird. The bathroom door is locked. <laughs> it is kind of weird. Leave. Ah, oh, let's see if this door opens. Locked. Nope, okay. Let's go back to maybe the third floor. Whoops, talk. Hey! Oh my! Sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place, keep things up and running. So, if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. No one's home. Um, can't go anywhere. Lisa made sure the floor was wet. Let's go to the second floor. Uh, nothing in there. Knock. Hmm, I guess no one is home. Okay. No one's home. Uh, why did she pause? Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. Just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. That's a little bit... Um, scary. <laughs> this guy is scary. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is with your face, child? Oh, I know. Young teens, a new generation of self-expression. I was young myself, I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything, you're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful, well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see, I collect many things. These things are like my family, so if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. What's up with your feet? Can I look? Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment. It is to have this full set. Okay. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? <laughs> the face. <laughs> okay. My god, child. Have you never seen my glitter ponies? Rainbow Spectacular. It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies. Oh, the ponies. Don't even get me started. Mm, yeah. <laughs> um, I guess I missed that one. I'll have a look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. Okay, let me get out of there. <laughs> that was funny. Knock. No one's um Okay. Let's go down to the first floor. Why does it have a star? That's suspicious. Knock. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick-or-treating, isn't it? <coughs> uh stupid. Good for nothing, kids. Grumble, grumble. Okay, I won't be going there again. Knock. No one's home. Whoops. Hello. What's going on? Hello, young man. Just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. 
Sorry chicks out, that's good. Try not to get in, your, in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it a murder? I can't talk about that. Oh, okay. So long. No one's, um... Who's Addison? Oh dear, what a frightful... Uh, pardon me, let's start over. <laughs> Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. Can I come in? Heavens no. I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Goodbye. Farewell, friend. <laughs> oh, a bunch of weirdos. Can I go down to B? No. Okay, let's go home, I guess. Is the cop still there? Yep. <laughs> okay, so I've met everyone. Yeah? Let's see what's in the bags. Just some stuff Dad got from the store. Nothing important. Let's go to the bathroom. Sleep aid. Okay. Not gonna take that. Well, not yet anyway. Let's go look for Dad. Where is the guy? Hello. Hey, kiddo. What do you think about this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things as long as we have each other. I think we can make a real home here. I miss Jersey. I know you do, bud, but please try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple of weeks and then you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Everyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sol. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. I miss Mom. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. See ya. Try not to get into too much trouble. There's not much trouble to get into. I have a kitty. I can't watch TV because it's not plugged in. Hi, Gizmo. I see you've made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. So. I've spoken to everybody. And... What else is there to do now? Can I go pester this guy again? Hello? Who are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother. <laughs> what does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. Wow, this guy has a stick up his... <laughs> Okay, so I'm not sure what else to do. I mean, sir, can you leave? I want to go into that room over there. That one. Do I have to wait for... What is... What is the star? What does the star do? Nothing. I can't do anywhere. Cannot go anywhere. Hello. Hey, detective. Hello, Sol. Was it a murder? I can't talk about that. 
So long. Dude, I'm bored. Get me something to talk to. Um... What is... What, what else is there to do, though? What is happening? There's a sheep in here. I just go in. Um, so... Yep, I know. You're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah. Don't worry. Anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. You live here alone? Alone? Look around you. I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. Be right back. Will I? Will I be right back? I want to know what's happening with the sheep. move the wet floor. I want to talk to that guy. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What's up? How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here too. I'm on call 24-7 for my urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, it is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home. Going on 10 years now. It seems like a nice place. You betcha. What do others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over a hundred years old, you know. People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about small things. You can't sweep the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on that makes you happy in this life. Put your energy into that. Change the subject. So, do you know anything about what happened in 403? It's a shame. You and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise, things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Uh, is there anything fun to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him to send you down. Tell him I sent you down. You need a key card to access it from the elevator though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool, thanks. Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of this Addison apartment, of the Addison apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. See ya. See ya around. 
Okay, let's go to the basement. I've been in a creepy dude's apartment and now I'm going to the basement to talk to Larry. Ah! Lost and found. What is that? Can't really see. Hazardous. My goodness. Laundry. Gee, I sure am looking forward to using this. Not. Oh, vending machine. Lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry though. 1B. Open. Oh wow, I just opened the door. <laughs> and now I'm strolling around in the house. What the hell is that? My thoughts exactly. <laughs> What was this? Nothing in the bathroom. There's some old pizza. Keep out. Let's go check. Nope. Larry's room. Yeah. Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. Door's open. Whoa, nice mask. It's a prosthetic. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. So, do you, like, have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, change of subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So, once they started calling me that, I figured I'll own the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Haha, <laughs> that's what your mom said too. Mother knows best. That is, that is creepy. Why do you live in the basement? My mom say, always says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent free with the maintenance gig. It's cool though, I don't mind. I get to listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. <laughs> oh, I like your shirt. Thanks, it stands for Sally Face. <laughs> <laughs> do you have my I do have my own clothing line so oh that's actually for this metal band called Sanity's Fall do you like the metal I don't know oh that's gotta change check out this song it's their first single the full album comes out in a few months <laughs> Gives me time to check out the art against the wall. Okay. What happened in 4 of 3? Shh, not that loud, man. What? What is it? The killer is still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This is some scary shit. What happened? Okay, so... I was helping Miss Sanderson with a clothing clogging toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in. 
yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. She tried to calm him down, but before she could get even a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. Sure. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie. Big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I didn't think they got any prints or anything. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like, my word isn't enough. Huh. Change the subject. What's with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns the place. I don't think he, he, I've ever seen him leave his room. Anyway, always talking through the little mail slot. <laughs> He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison T, please and thank you to tell him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate this stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Okay, seems like I've had enough. See ya! Okay. What's this thing? Really? That's uh, a police scanner. I can listen in on local cop chatter. How the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you just give me a great idea. Gave me. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into for a free. <gasps> maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the for the break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here and uh, I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. Been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet! So what's the plan? I'll call in the bank robbery, hostage situation, and that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at like a gas station or drugstore. Maybe a little more believable. Hmm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press that shift button there to call me. Clever. Let me check the painting. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude. It's my passion. I have to go to my room. Okay. Let's go. Oh, I'm in four. <laughs> uh, funny. Okay. Go to my room and then press the shift button. Sal's room. Okay. Okay, I'm in my room now. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. Okay, it's done. I've uh, I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs. So I think it worked. See if you can get into 403 now. Let's get going. Well, the cops are gone. Sneak in. Oh, goodness. Examine. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like everything important. Just looks like junk to me. Alright, keep looking then. There's got to be something there. 
Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. There's these uh, little figures. Looks like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. That's it. I know how we can get him. Get out of there and come down to the basement. Sanderson and Charlie both collected the those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanderson got the super rare one for or something. She was telling me about it that day. I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offered her offed her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know. Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. Okay, that's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks, fucking fatty. All right, all right, I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool. You're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. <sighs> Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? Ah, <laughs> nah. I just watch too much TV. You know, I don't trust this guy. Um... Where is he again? Two... Room two. No. You know, they're so cool, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, so how do you let me let me let me Google not two I <laughs> I was on two I want to go to one there we go. Let's go to Mr. Addison and ask about the tea. Hello, young sir. New resident of Alice Abod Al Addison Apartments, room 42. How may I be of service? Addison tea, please, and thank you. Yes, coming right up. There you are, sir. Please enjoy. How did he get the cup through the... <laughs> through the thing? That's so weird. Oh, he's still here. Back from the robbery. Okay. Let me, um... Give Charlie some tea. Oh, no! I think I know. I think I know. Uh, nope. 
we have some sedatives in the bathroom. Where was it? There it is, sleeping aid. This will knock that fat bastard out for sure. Wow. Language. Did I take it? T plus sleeping aid. Okay. Good, 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 good. Leave. Oh, it's the other way. Let's go give uh, Mr. Charlie some tea. Here. Yep, I know you're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah, don't worry. Okay, how do I give you the tea? Um. Oh, is that Edison tea I smell? Yeah, it's just got some from... Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here. Wow. He is really... Oh, so tasty. So relaxing. Okay. Let me... Let me get the... Um, got the toy. Score. Let me get out of here. Uh, should I take it to... Larry? Wait, let me just message him. Oh, never mind. Let's go find out. Hey, Larry. I got the toy. All right, Mr. Smooth Criminal. I knew you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. Now all you need to do is give it to that detective and it'll be all over. Um, so is this place haunted or what? What? Not this again. The Chuck put you up to this. No, I, I just got a weird feeling about it. Who's Chuck? Is the kid... Big kid on three. Usually can't miss him, but anyways. I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw one with my own eyes, you know. I guess so. Play that Sanity's Fall song again. Sure. The fear within. <laughs> ah, later. Um, why, why do I have to go give the evidence? I mean, it's not like I'm the one that witnessed to the murder. Yo, hey detective. Hello, Sal. I think I know who did it. Have you been talking with that Larry boy? I can't put much faith in a teenager with a criminal record. Oh, I, uh, look, I appreciate you kids trying to help. I do, but unless you've got some sort of evidence that please refrain from spreading rumors. I got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room? How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie and he was showing me all his toys. That's when I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in training, huh? Haha, <laughs> not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember next time you come to us with this info instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, sir. You got it. Ok, 
है Ah, here we go. Hey. Whoa. Um, hey. I'm Sal. Just moved in. You can call me Sally Face. Chug. Uh, nice to meet you, Sally Face. Nice meeting you, Chug. How did you get your nickname? Huh? What nickname? Uh, never mind. <laughs> Do you think this building is haunted? Why, did you see something too? Yeah, I think so. Knew it. I knew I'm not crazy. Ha! So you've seen that old man? Old man? No, I think that's just crazy homeless dude that sleeps up on five sometimes. But I did see lots of stuff, man. Crazy stuff than just that old mum. Like things moving all by their own and weird noises and stuff, you know. I keep trying to tell everybody, but no one ever believes me. Well, I believe you. Oh, thanks, Sally Face. Oh. I did see a girl once. Huh? A girl! I thought it was a homeless guy's daughter, but she just disappeared. That's why I used my key to lock the bathroom shut tight. It's too scary. Wait, you have a key to 504? Yep, found it on the ground. Let's go check it out together. No way! Not going in there. Ghosts live in there. How about you let me borrow the key and I'll check to make sure it's safe. I'll just give you the key, but maybe you can trade me something for it. Wanna trade? If you let me borrow that key, I could give you a um, teacup. Need a teacup? Nope. But if you have any quarters, I would trade. I'm almost out of snacks. Need to get more bars. Walkie talkie? Would you trade for walkie talkie? Isn't that Larry's? I can't take that. Be right back. I think I can go get him some snacks. Right? So I still have the key card. Just not sure if I have change. Lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry though. Hello? I want to get it for Chug. snacks do I have any loose change nope does dad At least he's trying now. Not drowning himself in booze. Not totally give up on life. On me. Hey, a quarter. Score. <laughs> Let's go take it to... Um, what's his face? Chug. Chug is on the third floor. There we go. There we go. Want to trade? Water. Oh man, heck yeah. Yeah, take it. Nice. Thank you. See ya later. 
Let's go to five. Okay, where's the bathroom? Aha! Uh -huh. Is anyone in here? It's okay, I won't hurt you. I'm a friend. You are? Yeah, sure. My name is Sally Face. Your name is funny. You're not scared of me, Sally Face? No, of course not. Okay, that's good. Why do you have pigtails in your hair? That's for girls, silly. Ha! <laughs> Whoever said that only girls can wear their hair in pigtails? I like pigs too. I never thought of that. You're funny, boy. Why were you crying before? Everyone always runs away from me when I try to talk to them. I get so lonely up here all, all alone. I can understand that. I get lonely sometimes too. It must be hard being by yourself. Well, I'm not really all alone. There are... Okay, that's some scary shit. Hello? Rogo? Are you still here? Huh? I think she's scared. What's happening? What are you doing here? Chuck, what are you doing up here? Asking myself that same question. I thought you were too scared of this room. I am, but you were gone for so long, I needed to check on you. You know, make sure the ghost didn't get you. Thanks, man, I'm a go. Nothing got me. Good, good. So I was thinking, maybe you keep that key. I don't like coming up here anyway. You see more into it. All right, I'll hold on to it. But you can borrow it anytime you want. Okay, deal. Okay. Go away. Okay. I think if I go in again, Chuck will be gone. Nah, she's gone. the other dude they were in the basement I need to go check in the kitchen nope can go out. Oh, there's, the, there's this guy. Good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. No one was around, so I looked into the back window of the van. Whoa. Whoa. 
such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a long, young child as, your, as you were. Fifteen years old and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. And all these years later, the new evidence had finally proved Charlie was falsely accused? What? After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you've said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I've said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school? We've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. You seem to be upset by my mentioning of him. I just don't know what's going, what good asking the same questions all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time's up for today. Okay. Wait. I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please, keep that thought for our next session. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial. So I hope you'll let me help you. Trial? What the hell? What's going on? I don't think you're a murderer, Sal. So. You might be the only one. What the hell is happening? <laughs> uh, okay, finished. Episode 1. Nice. Thank you guys for sticking around. This was actually fun. This is the first time I'm doing uh, this type of game and I enjoyed it. If you made it this far, thank you very much for your support. Love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.